here for Michael Made It's new album. Michael Made It is a producer and beat maker. He is pretty successful. And, uh, for example, for example, who you think produced this song? Incredible, famous song. Black girl. Watch your phone slowly. Alright, so I'm here for his album. I'm here for his album. And the features list is just arousing me, really. Uh, so let's get into it. <laughs> Michael made it. Ransom 2. Let's go. This is this is beautiful. to WYO what you on featuring young thug Okay, that track was uh, was good, but uh, it should have been a little bit better, a little bit more hyped, maybe. I think Young Thug, he usually does a good job uh, in uh, featuring or just singing himself, but like, uh, not singing, rapping. But uh, this one, I think uh, there wasn't much enthusiasm behind his uh, lyrics and uh, voice and the song just, you know, uh, became boring in uh, when it was uh, the middle of the song. So, uh, but the piano was great. Michael made it, he's doing his thing. Track three, Hasselhoff featuring Lil Yachty. Okay, let's go. Nice spot. Love boat. Love boat. Wait, wait, wait. 
<clears throat> I didn't expect Lil Yachty to rap on that beat because Lil Yachty, like, it's the first time I'm hearing Lil Yachty on that, like, serious, like, like, animalistic beat, you know? Like, it was so serious and, like, nasty. And he was on there spitting some bars. And, uh, like, <laughs> usually it's, like, for him it's softer. It's, like, uh, on the Chance mixtape, uh, the, the song mixtape, uh, Lil Yachty was... Uh, rapping of course but like you know it's usually softer I spy or uh, broccoli you know but this one is just doom, doom. <laughs> uh, everything is like so dark and like nasty and he still still uh, did a great job on that beat <laughs> alright track 4 I already heard it that's my favorite shit Gucci on my featuring 21 Savage YG and Migos Gucci on my shirt, Gucci on my hoes, nigga. Roll this bunch down, dripping on my clothes, nigga. Gucci on my hoes, nigga. Gucci on my shirt, Gucci on my hoes, nigga. Savage cut, throw in leaves. VBS is dripping, yeah, yeah, dripping, yeah, yeah. Serve a nigga with no scale, riding around without my seat belt, nigga. Fuck 12. Gucci on my shirt, Gucci on my hoes, nigga. Roll it bunch down. Dripping on my clothes, nigga. Gucci, yeah. Gucci on my shirt. Gucci on my hoes, nigga. Stay in that Gucci. Why she doing a pay? Why she got a pay? Why she getting paid? Why she staying clear? Why she got a raise? Why she... Uh, the FNFN, fuck him up. Under my designer tub. They went in a coochie. Uh. My nigga just got out of prison, huh? He already told him to ooze. <laughs> the body too big, jacuzzi. Woo. Money like Frank Lucas. Frank. Fuck at the bankers of Gucci. Bank. This album is gonna be uh, rich on the beats. So far, very unusual and tasteful beats. Well, uh, that uh, track. Um, Except for hard hitting beats, nothing was really um, interesting over there. Track six, though, Perfect Pint featuring Kendrick Lamar, Gucci Mane, and Ray Tremor. Ooh, <laughs> that's a great plant over there. Let's see what's up. Ray Tremor sounds like a female. So far, Ray Schremer, the one of the Ray Schremer guys, is making the song. Um, the chorus is good, but other things right now, it's not working, not working for me right now. Okay. Yep, uh, it was an okay track, but wasn't... Uh, Honestly, uh, could be much better, especially with the features here: Kendrick Lamar, uh, Gucci Mane, and uh, Ray Schremert. Uh, Ray Schremer, uh saved the song with uh, with that good chorus, uh, with their good voice. Of course, there was uh, uh, auto tune used there, but uh, doesn't matter at this point. It's just like um, they did their thing, but the beat, the Gucci's verse was okayish. Kendrick's verse could have been bad because Kendrick can do a much better job than this one. So let's just leave that track. Track 9 Burning featuring Andrea. Oh, female. <laughs> let's see. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Her flow is damn good. Oh. 
that song reminded me of uh, Fast and Furious soundtracks, so that's why I kind of relate more. So, but uh, Andrea, good job, good job. It's boring. Skip. Track 15. Alright. And that's the end of the album. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I thought it's gonna be much better. I thought um, the features were really good. Like, I mean. Future, Two Chains, Farrell Williams, Lil Wayne, Ray Schrammer, Kendrick Lamar, uh, did I say Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> 21 Savage, YG and Migos, Lil Yachty, Young Thug, Big Sean, all good rappers over here. Unfortunately, uh, we only heard four good tracks. The first four <laughs> on the album was were great. I like them, I like them. And um, perfect paint is just for taste. Uh, I think uh, more people uh, th there are gonna be people who will uh, for sure like perfect paint because there's Kendrick, there's Gucci Mane, and the song wasn't that bad, but I didn't feel it honestly. And um, track nine, Burning Feet Andrea was another good track. So my takeaway would be uh, first four tracks of this album. And uh, number nine, Burning featuring Andrea. Track four was Gucci on my shirt, Gucci on my hoe, featuring 21 Savage, YG, and Migos. Track four uh, was my shit already. Like I was listening to it a lot before this album. That was my review. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Uh, and uh, hit the like button if you like. And uh, subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye. Ain't none of this shit promise, ain't none of this promise. Ain't none of this shit promise, ain't none of this promise.